Hello friends, today we have 13 items that we are going to ship. I'm going to tell you how much it was the uh, total sales by the month of September, how many returns I have, how many hours I put into the business. I'm going to show you the items that sold over the weekend and it will be a different kind of video. It will not be a cheap with me. I'm just going to show you what is all. Try to get this video a little more short and get more information about the sales for this past month. Just an eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. The first item that I'm going to show you is these towel boots and the size 14 pants. So took had around one year to sell when I first started to look the cons for this item. It was a 50 to 80% sell to rate, but red is not a good color back then. Right now, the red, it will be a trendy color for fall and winter. So I'm happy that this time sold. This sold for $10 plus $9.99 shipping. The second item that we saw, it was this J. Crew flannel a shirt this sold for 16 plus 9.99 shipping and it sold really fast like a, around three to four days so this was a really good find again uh, my average for the month of course it was three dollars and 69 cents the third item that we sold it was this adidas adidas uh, bounce golf shoes this was not a really good sale because usually the adidas golf shoes it will go for a more more higher but the buyer asked me to you know accept the offer and i was happy to accept the offer this was 17 plus 12.90 cheap sold in only six months which is a good timing for adidas so happy that this one is going This brand is totally a new brand to me. This is the Mac Denim, as you can see in here. And it have a good detail in here, like a, a big M. This sold really fast, around one week, and have some flash. In this case, this part is like that in here, so I had to disclose that. This is the... Uh, the style in there and the size it was 31 and sold for $20 plus $10.99 shipping. Really good sale. If you are new here, my name is Cynthia Amos and I run a six-figure business in Amazon and I'm trying to do the same for eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. Try to do a little bit good. Try to recycle a few items and try to prevent that those items go to the field. So I am happy that I can offer some inputs and how I am growing my business to that point where I want it to be. If you come back, thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. You are the best. And thanks for all your questions. I will try to do one uh, video about Q&A or, or questions and answers. Just for now, let's go to the video. Really exciting uh, sale. This was a Banelli shoes this is the brand and this is in the size 9 as you can see in there so i was happy to this one so i show you this one in a, a thrift hole so if you haven't watching and leave it leaving it here you sold for 20 dollars plus 9.99 shipping and the only keyword different to put multicolor heel toe uh, it was j2k so yeah be on the lookout for this this is a good good size in a good um, style in Vanelli. Well, this is the Nike Air Zoom in the size six and a half. This one sold for $24.29 plus $9.99 shipping. Uh, this was a, over a year in my closet, so I definitely will not pick it up. This kind of items again, but happy that they sold. I'm actually happy for all my sales. Next item that is sold is this Polo Ralph Lauren in the size 32. This is the Authentic Dangerous straight leg blue denim. 
This sells for $25 plus $10.99 shipping. This sold in two weeks, so I will definitely pick it up this item again. This next item, I thought they will sell a lot more faster, but probably in the larger si sizes it will sell more fast. This is the Savannah Jane. This sold for $25 plus shipping. Savannah Jane is a really good brand. Some of them have a 100% sell through rate. And I was happy to find this one. I just came across in one of my honey holes. He has this beautiful embroider and it almost looks like a is Johnny West. So good item in here. He sold in a month. This next item that I saw is a brand that probably you are not in the lookout, but this was a really good print. This is the Kronk in Ivy and the size 3X. This is a really pretty pattern, as you can see here in the green and pink. So it sold really, really fast. Uh, Paisley, RC, all the keywords I used in there, sold really fast in a two weeks, around two weeks. This next item is uh, a J2K baggy jeans and the brand Old Navy. These are the style they call painter or carpenter. And I have some more keywords in there. I'm going to leave the title in here, but this one sold for $16 plus $9.99. The shipping. The next item they sold is these um, Rockport boots in the size 10. This sold, sold really, really fast, like in two or three weeks. This was a sale that just come out and I'm going to include it in this video because uh, I usually ship all my items before two. If that item is paid before, that I'm shipping, so I am putting in the previous day. That's just for bookkeeping. This is the Mia Clocks, as you can see in here. And it's really, really trendy for year 2K, 90s, and 2000 kind of chunky block uh, shoes. So those are the keywords that I add in there. And those are some items that the kids and the young generation are looking this sells for $26.99 plus $15 shipping. Now we are going to talk about the Poshmark sales. In this case, we have two, and I'm going to talk about this one that I made the mistake to add the price really, really low. So this is experience for you and experience for me. I'm going to explain you a little bit why it was that mistake. The first one is this uh, Levi's. This Levi's um, a straight leg dark wash stretch in the size 14. It took like uh, a year to this item sold and it sold for $18. So yeah, not an exciting sale, but I am happy that it's going because it has been a long time and they're in my closet. Let's talk about this item. I'm <laughs> really sad that I see this one going. But this is the 346 Brooks Brothers Best and this cable neat. And this was a really sad sale because what it happened is when I cross listing the item to Poshmark, I didn't notice that this one have a discount because I always run a discount in my whole store for around 10% of the price just for get that traction and my items, you know, in general. So I was really sad because this one, it could have go all the way to $29 if I seen right. So this one sold only for $16. So be on the lookout for this kind of cable, for this cable needed, you know, sweaters or best because they are selling really well. Three weeks later. It's been a while since I did the was sold because I usually do uh, end the Monday for that weekend. So in this case, I'm recording almost the end of October, which is not cool because I should have do, done it 
long gone by now, but I want to bring you the information anyway. So I will start with the 20 items they sold in the best items that I sold for 139 that I did in the total of September. So in this case, I'm going to start with the Vince Camuto boots. This was a, pa a pattern, animal print, snake pattern, and it sold for $29.34. So this is have the story before I was using a wholesale. I am known pro for doing this mystery stuff because I usually disappointed for all of them. But in this case, a friend of mine, that her name is Katia, she got a beautiful, beautiful closet. I will leave it here. So recommend to me this, this wholesale. It was a really good wholesale before it was sold out for a different company so I am really sad that this happened this item came from there so he sold for around a year and a half so one of the oldest items that I have in my, in my store and closet but I'm happy that he sold so yeah $39.34 $20 profit no bad so the number 19 that I sold so I'm looking down because I am reading my list just in case that you will see me just looking back down. So the number 19 was North Face Gloves. We sold for $38.99 and 58 cents. This item was a return for Amazon. And I decided to put it in my clothing accessories shoes store because I have the hunch they will sell more faster. So really fast. This item, what it happened is on Amazon, sometimes when you send the items, and they sell the customer open the packages and that classify for no to back to your store or the inventory and you store on the warehouse that they have the item so they buy they send them back to you as a seller so this it was a case of that item so I was happy that i can recoup my investment in that item and make some profit so really good item so so north face and these special items I'll be in the look at even at the thrift store. Number 18 was this Chaco Hiking sneaker shoes. I never saw the sneaker shoes before, but it definitely will be in the lookout because before Chaco is known for the sandals. So, so I sold tons of sandals of Chaco, but I never saw a sneaker, but $40 and 46 cents not bad for the item for this brand so i'll be definitely in the lookout for that in the near future the number 17 was this rockport chica boots brown this was a hobby fan it was sold for 41 dollars and three cents and nothing special i thought that this brand it was from walmart but it's not from walmart so yeah so he told me this is a good brand and i never saw it even though i was selling more shoes before than clothing i never saw it or pay attention or did they come now i am happy that this one so was so wrong so it is what it is i am learning every day and i just learned that this is a good brand that we on the lookout the number 16 was this ariad brown pants workwear workwear is one of the items that be in the look at next month and probably 2024 because this items sell so good this sold for 41 dollars and 97 cents really really happy with that sold nothing special it was a mint it was a really good condition almost like new and ariet is a good brand to be in the lookout as well the number 15 is one of my newest favorite brands to be on the lookout and I make even a short in here if you haven't watching and over all the platforms TikTok and Instagram and is this Ming Wang blazer art jacket this was a really good pattern and it was a really good keywords that I used in there and it sold for $42.79 so if I come in across to this brand I'm always going to look the sizes this was a plus size so probably that's what it sold really fast and for that price I am getting almost $30 in profit in this 
this is a brand that you can sell in for a lot more but you probably going to wait a little bit more so if the garment have a really special patterns and all that you probably selling for a lot more but in this case i don't want to wait i received the offer i accept the offer i've been reinvesting that money a lot more times and i've been making more money so really happy with that sale the number 14 was this Dunberg bag was nothing special of this this was a vintage bag and in Dunnyborg if you have the crossbody they will sell for a really good for 90 80s or a hundred dollars so in this case this took a little bit more time happy that this one sold and I received a really good comment a message for the buyer and yeah that's what I do this business I love those reviews and those messages messages telling me really good condition item and really happy now I can be a twin with my daughter and stuff like that really good business to be I really enjoying it and I am happy that I can provide with that item so number 13 it was this Patagonia vest jacket and this took long time to sell for being Patagonia this offer $44 and it took around one year to sell and I received first a offer that I probably should have took it because it was for around $30. I probably will make a lot more money with that $30 by now. But it is what it is. I didn't accept the counter offer and I never accept the counter offer. So it sold in Poshmark for $44. It is what it is. The number 12 is this Everlyn jeans sold for $44. Dollars and 29 cents. This is a back happy story with a WhatsApp sale. So, what I learned from this uh, buying is I will never go to a bigger reseller or a so called big reseller to beat an items because they have a sketchy a scammer thing to in, in there. So they got people to click in there and try to get you in the higher price. In this case, it was a glitch and what now. And the people was bidding so much that it get to the point at $70. I tried to cancel the item and this so-called big reseller influencer told me that what now wasn't allowed to cancel the items though, so she will not cancel. So then I leave it like that. I just learned my, from my experience to don't go to these to find items. You can find items to resell and whatnot. Of course you can, but don't go to those biggest resellers. They got like a kind of cult in there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand it. And I definitely will stay away from that. So that's the story of these jeans. But happy that it sold, it sold for it over a year. Everlyn, I don't know if it, I will be in the lookout, but I will always going to check comps for the style in any jeans because you never know, you will be surprised. So the number 11, it was this Starbucks file 2022 cup. This was again an item that I bought it for sale in Amazon and sold a lot of things in Amazon. But this one just left behind after the a lot of sellers coming and tank the prices. So I just decided to leave it in the same price because I am not agree with that. I don't like to go in competition with these people trying to get in the lowest price. I don't understand the model. I don't know how they make money. So I just decided to put it in if it, it had been like around a year in my closet but it sold finally for the price that I wanted and I never received it offers if you know I will probably sell it because I can get that money back and reinvesting in better items but in this case I'm happy that this one sold for $46.20 so the number 10 is one of my reseller career favorite brand and is this Dansko the sneakers, black sneakers, this have the buy of J2K. I think that's the reason they sold more faster than even the normal slip on um, slip on clocks or the normal items that is are famous dance for. But it sold for $46.53. 
and no bad for it either. Get that twenty dollars profit back is a really amazing business to be in. So I will be on the lookout for this kind of dance go items. The number nine was this New Balance white sneakers. This sold for forty-eight dollars. New Balance is a really good brand to be on the lookout in the shoes part. So I always check in counts when I find them because some styles will go for a lot more lower, but some of them will go for a good price like this. Uh, for the use shoes, really good item. The number eight was this Wrangler in the line of fire protection. It's a kind of line of the Carmen have like a fire protection or anti-fire. So really cool, really good item. This sold for $48.80. So be on the lookout for this and I thought it would take a lot more time because of the size and all that but I know there's people looking for these kind of workwear items. The people who do welding or you know have more contact with fire are, being, are looking for and they are really pricey in the news so happy that I can find that I can provide these items. The number seven it was this. I put it together because this was a bundle. So this bundle sold for $50 and I will leave all the garments in here what that, that bundle was including. So nothing special, just right now I am selling more bundles in eBay than in Poshmark, but I am really happy that this one sold. So $50 for a bundle. The number six was this night white black sneakers, it's a like kids size this was in six youth and it sold for fifty one dollars and seventy nine cents so i'm happy the my knowledge and shoes can bring the money really fast too they sold really fast i done and saying at the number five that this was this timberland youth boots this sold for fifty two dollars and sixty three cents this was a five i think this was a five year size so both of them as you can see almost in the same price so i'd be in the lookout of course the condition was really good in these two items so i will just check in the condition before to check the comps and then find out the comps but these two i definitely will be in the lookout the number four is this camper shoes this was one of my first items that I invest in this reseller business and i'm happy that i can let it go because this was an international sale i received a really review for it and the item goes in it's a really good bag of my money but the time is really long so I will be in the lookout in the brand camper, but I will do even more better research and comps and all that to see which one will sell more faster. Like that, that 50 to 100% sell to rate day. I am in the lookout all the time. So the number three that saw it was this seat bike. This was a free gift and inventory for my brother. I actually sold two more of this. The other one sold more faster. They still get a little bit more time, like a two or three months to sell. And this sold for $54.61. So be on the lookout for those bike seats. Probably you can find it for $1 at the garage sales or, or the three stores. Seat by, bikes, it was, it was one of the no clothing and shoes and accessories related in my store was. So happy that I can just clean in those items and just living like a clothing shoes accessories kind of store what i love it so i don't like to sell clothes i love to sell shoes because i love shoes i have a lot of shoes tons of shoes so but that's what i got around me I'm trying to learn more because the shoes have been um, competitive and i can find them that many at the thrift store so I'm happy that I can learn more about clothes. Uh, of course, I am just starting to learning about clothes. So this is a trial and error. Probably it's like it's, it's like a starting again in the reselling business. So 
it is what it is. I will try to see what it works for me and what I can find more around me and I can list it. Number two was this Michael Kors brown knee-high boots. I was hesitant when I found this item because Michael Kors sometimes can be a hit or miss, but this was definitely a hit. This sold for $57.36 really happy with this find because I was hesitating to get these boots because I was with my mom we go to thrifting with my mom every Tuesday so I was hesitating at all paying $15 for this I don't know if I can sell it even for 20 because the comps for these kind of items was for $20 $19 and I just decided to take the risk because at the end my average cost of goods is $4 um right now in october it's a little bit more higher like a four dollars and 45 cents but in, in general four dollars is still and <laughs> so i decided to take it and i am happy because this sold for 57 dollars and 36 cents sometimes you got that hunch or that that feeling that tells you yeah this probably can sell good it don't work that much for clothing though it worked for the shoes Part in my case because I have the experience but it is what it is so one of my favorite brands to sell is this America Giant so I sold this hoodie that I paid $15 for it and I, re I was really happy that I paid up because it sold for $73.08 so really fast sale so like in two weeks and I definitely will be investing in these kind of items, especially right now in these temperatures. I love that these are made in homemade and here in North Carolina. So I will keep investing in them. So really happy that this one sold at the time they sold. I've been reinvesting the money. You cannot imagine how many times and it's amazing. So right now, the totals on numbers. In this case, I sold 478 cents in Poshmark, and I sold 54 dollars in Mercari, and I sold 3,434 in eBay. So the total, the total items, it was 139 items, and I'm put a effort for 39 hours in the total of the month. I mean, nine hours per week amazing amazing almost one hour and a half by day that's how much i put in an event in in Poshma. the rest of the time i'm doing research i'm doing amazon i'm doing different other stuff this includes science i research the item i thrifting the item i listing it i photographing i putting it in my inventory and shipping to the customer that includes the whole process so that's how much time and i know if i can do it you can do it as well the asp for this month for the total money was 28 dollars and 53 cents that means i sell really really low prices items that's what i found around me that's nothing bad nothing wrong with that to doing that because you have to adjust what you got around you so and then working with that the returns that I got for this month it was only one <laughs> this October man it have been really worse but I have just one return being already sold back and I am happy I just have three returns and sell or pay shipping so it is what it is that's how I want to manage my business I am trial and error I have it like a free returns and buyer pays for but it still I have returns so since I put it free re free shipping the seller pays for the return I have more sales and you can see it with these results so I listing five items only five items daily in September it's a little bit more higher now than October but that's for the next video so I hope that you like this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions any concerns as you know i do the mention or the answer for your comments or questions in the first part of the videos and thank you if you subscribe you are amazing you know that you are the best i see you in the next video blessings bye